Hi, Sophia. Thank you for stopping by. So let us talk about that topic. Single mothers, single mothers, all the single mothers. Let's talk about you today. Um, so the thing about this is every time when someone is looking for help or is looking for work or is just looking for anything, basically, or when they're asking for help, they always have to throw in that they're a single, they're a single mother. Why? Why do you have to tell us you're a single mother? Are you disabled? Are you not smart enough? Are you not beautiful enough? What is so special about being a, spe a, a single mother that you always have to include that you're a single mother? Hmm? There's so many women out there who are taking their kids to very good pri um, private schools. They're driving very nice cars. They're living their lives. And guess what? They are single mothers and they're providing for their kids. You don't have to every single time tell us that you're a single mom. It adds nothing. It adds nothing. For me, it adds nothing when you tell me you're a single mother. In fact, um, just before this whole Corona thing hit, I was looking for a housekeeper um, for my house. She's just be coming and just doing general cleaning. And I had seven interviewees. And there was one who was really, really very good. But the moment she just mentioned that she was a single mother, because I was asking them about um, about themselves, like, tell me more about yourself. And she had to include that she's a single mother. And I was like, oh why you were doing so well why did you have to tell me you're a single mother how how is you being a single mother affecting your work i mean you're just a mother like anybody else the only difference is you are doing it yourself which is a powerful thing i don't know why single mother look at single mothers look at it as if it's a weak thing or it's a weak point or it's a woe share point and i should feel sorry for you no i'm not feeling sorry for you yeah, there's so many men out there as well who are raising their own kids. But how many men do you see around going, just preaching to people of, oh, I'm a single father, you know, I'm a single dad. How many do that? How many do you know that keep reminding us that they're single dads? Almost none. Honestly, I don't know any. I don't know any who keeps flaunting the fact that he's a single dad. Why? Because you're a parent at the end of the day. So whether you're raising this child alone or you're raising this child with the help of your, uh, of your family or with the help of your husband, you're still a mother. You're still a parent. So l don't let being a single mother be, be like an excuse or a hindrance or something that you always must bring up. We don't give a shit. We don't care that you're a single mother. Being a single mother doesn't mean you're, that you're less than or that you should be treated spe um, specially or differently or whatever. You'll be treated the same because you're still a parent at the end of the day. It is your job. It is your job. Once I was at this um, meeting that was convened by one of the people in my um, MHM space, and um, we all went around just talking about, they said, um, introduce yourself, you know, just tell us something, just tell us something about yourself. And guys were mostly keeping it professional, but but if you want to say something personal about you, you'd be like, oh, and I like beer, or I like wine, or I like to jog a lot, or I like to run. And someone in that line had to mention, I'm a single mother. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, so that does that does that define you? And mark you, we had two dads there who are single dads, two of them that I didn't even know about until this whole topic was brought in during tea break. And I was like, oh, you're a single dad as well. And I'm like, why did this woman, after all, um, because she's such a professional lady, she has so many other accomplishments that I'm like, why you being a, why can't you just say I'm a mom? What is so hard in just saying that? I'm a mother. Do you know what is so hard? Because you want us to feel sorry for you. No, we won't feel sorry for you. Also, we don't think that you're a super mom because you're a single mom. No, you're just a mother, just like everybody else who's just trying to get through to, um, through in the world. So don't put this single mother thing as if it's a, it's a badge of honor or as if it's this symbol for us to treat you differently or give you extra attention or extra care. You're a single mom. It is good. It is well. Take care of your child. You're a parent at the end of the day, whether single or married or divorced or widowed or whatever. You are a mother at the end of the day. And don't keep putting that as the first thing that we see when we see you. Anyway, to all the single mothers out there doing their thing and not really letting being a single mom be a hindrance in their life or be an excuse in their life, congratulations, I applaud you because it's people like you who don't take raising a child 
um, by themselves as an accomplishment or something so difficult to do. You just take it in stride. You take your kid to school. Some women don't even get support from their baby daddies, actually. They do it by themselves. But they're not on our timeline every day reminding us that they are single mothers. You know, they're doing their thing and they're not looking for any pity from anyone. So please, you single mothers that are out there every day reminding us of how, si of how a single mother you are, stop it. No one cares. There's so many other single women out there doing their own thing, not complaining. As usual, thank you very much for watching my very quick video. And I will see you when I see you. Okay? Bye. Oh, and subscribe. Always, always subscribe. And like the video. And comment. And do all that. Okay? Also, if you're a single mother, yeah, I'd like to know your take on this whole topic of single motherhood and um, other single mothers that you've been with and your take on them. Yeah? Subscribe and goodbye.